This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Heavenly Father, let wisdom call out to us. Let us hearken our ears only to your truth, to follow your narrow path that leads to never-ending, everlasting life with your wondrous purpose. Let those who hear this vision from you never be the same again. In Jesus' name, amen. If you want to journey through the narrow gate and be with the Lord for all eternity, Scripture says in Romans 10, 9-13, If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. As the scripture says, anyone who trusts in him will never be put to shame, for there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. That word confess in the Greek actually means covenant. If you covenant with your mouth or make an agreement with your mouth, the Lord Jesus Christ, that is to make a covenant with him that in your heart you believe him, that he died for your sins and that God raised him from the dead so that you could now have that eternal life that we talked about, will be saved. That word saved means preserved eternally, made whole, made spiritually alive. If you want to cross over to that narrow path, leading to the narrow gate to be with the Lord forever, pray this prayer to the Lord. He knows your heart. He will understand what you mean. Pray like this. Lord God, that's right, go ahead, just repeat after me. Lord God, Father of Jesus Christ, I believe that Jesus is your Son, who died on the cross as a sacrifice for my sin. In my place, so that I would not have to die for my sins and spend eternity in hell. I believe you raised him from the dead so that I can have eternal life in him. Please forgive me of my sins. Thank you for your promise that if I merely ask you to forgive me of my sins, you will forgive me of my sins. And thank you for forgiving me of my sins right now. I covenant now with Jesus because of his blood sacrifice that he shed for me to be my Savior and Lord of my life. While I live, I live for Christ. When I leave this world, I will be with you forever. Thank you for promising me that this covenant, I am now saved. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you prayed that prayer with me, you are now my brother or sister in the Lord. Welcome to the family of God. Now there are some steps you need to take. First, you need to find a place of worship. A place to worship the Lord with others who are true believers. You need to ask the Lord to show you where to go to do that. 
If they don't preach what you just prayed, it's not the right place. Also, you need to read the scripture every day, and I highly recommend the New International Version of the Bible, the NIV. It's written in American English and very easy to understand. The next thing you need to do is you need to pray. You need to talk to the Lord every day. He longs to have that intimacy. He loves you so much. You know, one of His names is Jehovah Shammah. I am that I am with you always. And it gives the understanding that it is as though He is so in love with you. He is sitting at the edge of His seat, waiting with bated breath to hear your next words of love to Him. So in love with you is He. God bless you, my new brother or sister. Please share with me if you just made this commitment with Jesus today. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.